Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Hit Parade Baseball Autograph Limited Edition Series 13. Dual case, both cases right here, 20 total boxes and a Chase the Mantle spot being given away. Big thanks to this group right here for getting in. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a four, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Five and a four, nine times. There's nine right there. We got Chris down to Tristan. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four. And nine. After nine times, we got the Metropolitans down to the M's. Trade window is open. Let me read off names and teams for you. All right, Chris, you got the Mets. Jesse with the Pirates. David with my Dodgers. Pat with the Reds. Jason with the Padres. Nick with the Diamondbacks. Eric with the Rays. Jeremy with the White Sox. Justin with the Guardians. Barry with the Rangers. Jason K with the Marlins, Jared with the uh, Cardinals, Eugene with the Twins, Patrick with the Red Sox, Brian with the Rockies, David, Astros, Brewers, Braves, Alan Murdoch with the Yankees, Jeremy Port with the A's, Jimmy with the Cubs, Brian with the Nats, Matthew with the Giants, Ryan with the Phillies, Jimmy with the Blue Jays and the Angels, Chris with the Royals, Kaim with the Orioles, Paul with the Tigers, and Tristan with the Seattle Mariners. There is a trade window, so let me shrink this down a little bit, alphabetize by team, clean up the spreadsheet a little bit. All right, there you go. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. There's some trade chatter, but in the end, no deals are done. So, oh, I didn't write TWC in the chat. TWC, trade window closed. Oliver and I were just talking a little bit about it. 200, yeah, see, I gotta, I gotta up the round count. TWC, trade window closed. So even if it's just like West Strip before work, right? I could just get that going. All right, doing both cases. We'll give away a mantle spot as well. So yeah, I've gotten to the point, Oliver, where I've started, where, where, you know how I was saying, oh, I just got to do the range more at work just to practice. So I've been doing that. And so now I'm at the level where I'm like, oh, I feel like I, got, I just got to do courses more often. So just to kind of get used to doing it outdoors instead of, you know, I still get like, you know, it's, it's still, I'm early, it's early enough where I'm still like, I get a little nervous on the tee box. Or if I step inside a sim, you know, I'm hitting them pretty well, but then I get on the tee box and other people are around and all that sort of stuff. And people behind me, in front of me, you know, I kind of have to get over that hump, which I'm slowly getting there. And now I just need to play courses before more often. Even the short, just short ones would be good. Oh, Joe Maurer is good. Eight out of 15. Joe Maurer. Five-star on-card autograph. Former Chris Jaspi would love this. This is uh, Twins, Eugene with the Twins. Nice start. Xbox. All right, here we have Patch and Auto Chris Sale, Red Sox edition. I love the uh, the hologram sticker there. That'll tell you exactly where that jersey came from. Nine out of twenty-five. Uh, Red Sox did Patrick with the Red Sox, not the edition that Red Sox fans want to think about, but it's doing well with the Braves. Uh, if you go to Patrick, if you go to MLB.com slash authentication and punch in those letters and numbers, you'll be able to see what date they got that jersey from. With pitchers, it's a little bit weird because, you know, they only pitch every fifth day or whatever, so 
So sometimes you'll have to look up the game log and they're like, oh, this pitcher did nothing. Usually it works better with hitters. Oh, there's, there's old Chris Jaspi. There he is. And there's Garrett Mitchell. Rookie auto, 100 out of 150. He was, he's a starting outfielder until he got hit in the hand with a pitch at the end of spring training. And he's been out. I think he's coming back this week. Not that I have him on my fantasy team and I've been waiting. <laughs> but he's supposed to be pretty solid. I don't know what he's projected to do. I think sort of a power speed guy. Maybe could be... You know, I mean, I think he's going to get you a lot of extra bases. Could be like a 20-20 guy. You know, give you some solid doubles. You know, it has enough speed to sneak in a triple or, triple or so. Good defense. Yeah, Brewers have a lot of outfielders, though. They got to... They're going to have to find some, some room for him, but... I think he was slated to be a starter before before the season. All right, O'Neill Cruz, Scripps autograph from Mosaic. Pirates, Jesse with the Buckos. Not numbered, still nice. Uh, David Lemons, by the way, had the Garrett Mitchell and the Brewers. Uh, that's also Last Spot Mojo. Last Spot Mojo strikes again. What do I say? 70% of the time, it hits 100% of the time. He's in the chat right now, Rex. We got Junior Caminero. Been waiting for him to be called up as well. I have him on. I have him stashed on the bench. Uh, he has a thigh injury, though. I don't know. I'm not sure. He might get a cup of coffee later this year. He might not help me fantasy wise. But Eric clicks with the Rays. It's keeper league, though. Matthew, that's right. Yeah, I keep forgetting that you've got the Josh Shaspi con connection. Another guy that we miss around here. Wish he would have hung around. Yeah, bringing in all the old names, Oliver. Look at that. Remember Josh? He ditched us for 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 life in in, in the Windy City. I gotta I gotta I gotta say what's up to him. I feel like I feel like uh, at least on Instagram it seems to be he seems like he's having fun. All right. Um, gold frame, Chris Bryant, five out of 10, nice patch. I would, Matthew, but here's the thing. <laughs> I am a former uh, fantasy baseball addict. Here's Brian Kay and the Rockies. So I used to be the guy that had a zillion leagues and super into it. It, it was very exhausting. So I, I trimmed it down to one main league that I've been in for a long time. 16 team, keeper, roto, uh, deep rosters, so it's pretty difficult. I think within the first few years, I won the championship. This, is, and this was like, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. I don't know, maybe seven years ago or something like that. Well, I won it, haven't gotten close since this year. This year I'm close. There's Grayson Rodriguez. Blue Ray Wave. Autograph. Rookie. Orioles. Kime with the O's to 150. I think Heston Kirkstad is being called back up. Matthew, tell Josh I said hi. The team says hi. Ah, fraternity brother in college. I will think about, yeah, I will think about it. That sounds cool. Yeah, all the, the, the teams in my baseball league also, also a bunch of baseball nerds. So it's like, it's almost impossible to, to get the jump on any prospects and stuff like that. It sounds like you guys are the same way. It's of a minor league system. Whew. Prospect drafts as well. It's Pete Alonzo, mini. It's Q 
cute. Four out of 50. What set is this from? From 2020. Oh, 2022 Topps Rip Baseball. I didn't realize that they had these little... That's really cool. That's going to be for the Mets. That's going to be for Chris. There you go, Chris. Chris B. Bonewell with that one. Do you do, uh, do, you do auction drafts? I've, I've, I've stopped doing... Uh, Stop doing snake drafts. Prospect drafts, man. Could be a second job. I don't know. If you do well, Oliver, I feel like you can you can put that on the resume for an assistant GM job in real baseball. Won my super deep key, keeper minor league system league five years in a row. Especially if it's an auction league, is he kind of get can apply value to players? Put that on a resume. Get an assistant GM job. Here, uh, there's going to be landscape mode the entire way. That's Mike Stanton or Giancarlo Stanton. Dual relic and autograph, twelve out of twenty-five. Jason K in Miami tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Injured again, but when he's healthy, you know what he can do. Wow. Do auction drafts, all keepers, contracts, budgets, you have to give them extensions. Yeah, if I won that league five years in a row, I'd quit and I'd, I'd talk to GM Brandon Gomes of the Los Angeles Dodgers and Andrew Friedman, president of baseball operations, and tell them, listen, so this super crazy deep league that I've won five years in a row, I'd like a job, please. Clearly, I can identify value and... There's the case that I was wondering where that was. I can identify value. I can make some good drafts. I know the players. All right, what do we got? PSA slab, it's Juan Soto. Pure power autograph. PSA 10 from Pristine. Brian K with the Nats. This is Nationals edition. 10 out of 50. That's sweet. Congrats. Oh, one guy's dropping out. Uh-oh. Uh, I'll think, keep me in mind, Matthew. I'll think about it, though. I appreciate the offer. If I win this, if I win my league this year, I'll be like, yeah, totally. But if, if I get kicked in the gut, usually I'm just like, I'm never playing fantasy again. Right up until like a month or two before the draft. And I'm like, I want to get him again. Right, not assistant to the GM, Oliver. I want to be assistant GM, Joe Jaspi. All right, next box, ne or next case. Next box of the next case. We're doing both. Got a big trophy for the winner. Is it money league? Do you guys do money as well? Sounds serious though, Matt. All right, there's Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Two out of 20, Boston Red Sox, Patrick. That's sweet, nice uh, gold foil maybe from that, from that five star. 250 buy-in as well, nice. Sounds pretty intense. What, uh, what platform do you use? My league's on, on CBS, which, is, which has been all right. We got some flawless Tamar Johnson, 17 out of 20. Buckos, Jesse with the Pirates.
Next is Grayson Rodriguez. Another one. It's all one in the first case. This is a different one, though. Purple Speckle Rookie Auto for the O's. That's to 299. 278 out of 299. It's going to be for for Kime. Guys use ESPN, but you but you run it through a lot of Google Doc contracts, process, and scoring, all that. Just on the, what is the what's the scoring like? Curious about that. Remember times where I would ex I've I've experimented with a lot of different scoring over the over the many 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 years I've been doing fantasy baseball. I've gone really complicated. I've in a lot of like sort of advanced stats, but I ended up. Liking going back to going back to a more simplified fantasy baseball scoring process. There's uh, pro penmanship, Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice, nice. I like that. That sounds simplified. Five batting, five pitching. What are your? Tell me the categories. Five out of ten, Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice one, Padres. Jason K. Pro penmanship. One year, our league experimented with wins minus losses. In a roto league, and it just well, oh, it's head to head. Interesting. We're season long roto. We have a season long roto, and then one month playoff using roto scoring. We did wins minus losses. That never that didn't work out. We have we we ditched that within two or three seasons. Batting is OPS, x rays this one's arcs. Okay. Here is Jacob deGrom. I think he's coming back soon. Sold, uh, it's like 2015, I think. I can, I'm trying to read that small print there, but I think it's from High Tech Baseball. Nice, old school. It's a nice one for uh, the Mets. That's going to be for Chris. And pitching strikeouts, whip, batting average against quality starts, saves, and holds. Interesting. You guys do quality starts. I had a debate with my cousin over the weekend. He's kind of a fantasy baseball nerd as well. And, and um, I like the no average. That's, un that's interesting. We have average and OPS. We have runs produced, which is runs scored RBIs minus home runs instead of RBIs, and we have home runs. Average and stolen bases. No stolen bases for you guys either. Interesting. There's Boba Shett from NT Baseball. Rookie Boba Shett, nice. Rookie jersey autograph, 68 out of 99 on the IL recently. But Jimmy with that one. Oh, you do have stolen bases. Okay, I was like, I was like, wow, you're in in the day and age of speed. You're it's very unique. You made the decision to eliminate stolen bases, but no, you, of course they're in there. I like the OPS and no average. That's interesting because you can just bake all of that into OPS, really. Slugging on base, so it's pretty much, pretty much there. That's the case hit. I'm going to save that to the end. So it allow you can do saves plus holds, not saves and holds, right? So I guess if a closer accidentally gets a hold, you can still get that. I had a debate about holds as well. Is the hold that important? In this saying, it is the hold that important? Maybe it is. Forty-three out of fifty. Nolan Gorman, rookie auto. I go back and forth on on quality starts too. I'm I'm like, should we have quality starts or do you not need quality starts? Cardinals. That's going to be Jared with the Redbirds. Gives more eggs than open. It saves plus holes, makes all relievers. That that's that's something that my 
cousin and I were debating over the weekend. I was on the side of, ah, do I really need holds? You know, do I really want to? Do I really want to roster like Nick Sandlind or something like that? My cousin's like, yeah, they are important. You do have to roster someone like Nick Sandlin, Alex Vesia, something like that. You're telling me those high leverage guys aren't important to a team? There's Josh Young. Nice patch in that little window. Nice autograph. Five out of ten from Immaculate Baseball. 2022 Immaculate Baseball. It'll be for Texas. That's going to go to Barry and the Rangers. All right, one more and then the case hit. Good luck, everybody. We got Landscape Mutts, Miggy. Miguel Cabrera, 32 out of 50. Uh, Detroit, it's going to be for Paul. All right, there you go, gang. Absolutely, thanks, Matt. Good to, good to see you, of course, as always. And yeah, Tell Josh I said hi. I'll think about that league, thanks. Always down to talk fantasy baseball, though. Anytime. Anytime. It goes for everybody. All right. Case hit. Last one. Not graded, but it's rookie Kyle Tucker, Red Wave, four out of five. We're ending it with a train whistle from 2019 Finest Baseball. That's David Lemons with the Houston Astros. David, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Nice. All right. Now, there's still one more hit left. That is the entry to the Chase the Mantle promo. We're going to give away one from this break. So from Nick down to Brian and everyone in between, you got a chance. New dice, new list. Only one winner, but good luck. Two and a five, seven times. After seven, name on top, gets the entry, and you got a chance. You're chasing the mantle. All right, good luck. Two and a five, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. So after seven, again, 29 sad spots here. The worst spot, spot two, unless your name's on top, dude. But two down to 30 sad times, but I appreciate you trying. Thanks, everybody. But there can be only one, and it's Ryan Heinz. After seven, congrats to you. You're in. You're chasing the mantle. Everyone else, keep trying. We got a lot of entries to go, so I hope you keep trying on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Congrats, Ryan, and good luck. I'm Joe. I'll see everyone next time for the next one. Bye-bye.